This video will guide you through eight steps needed to write a wholesale contract. Wholesale contract drafting is a widely requested service on the Contracts Council platform since wholesaling has become a popular investment strategy. So, if you need to write a wholesale contract, this video is for you. We will cover 1. Who uses wholesale contracts 2. Key terms to include in your agreement 3. 8 steps to follow to write your wholesale contract Who uses wholesale contracts A wholesale contract is used between the original property owner, often called the seller, and a wholesaler. Wholesalers buy the right to purchase the property from the seller. They then negotiate a price with the new buyers and sell them the property, hoping to make a profit. It is important to note that every state has its laws and restrictions regarding wholesaling and assignment of contract. Therefore, you should carefully review these regulations and consult with a local real estate lawyer if you have any questions. What to include in your wholesale contract? There are common terms used in wholesale contracts. Here are some you will find. 1. Names of the parties. Clearly identify the seller, who is the property owner, and the buyer, the wholesaler. 2. Purchase price. This section states the agreed-upon purchase price of the property. 3. Earnest money deposit. This describes the amount of money needed upfront by the wholesaler, where it is held, and the terms under which it can be returned or forfeited. 4. Description of the property. This states the address of the property, as well as any other identifiers. 5. Assignment Clause This is particularly important in wholesaling. It allows the wholesaler the right to assign the contract to another buyer for a fee. 6. Inspection Period Specify a duration during which the buyer or their representatives can inspect the property. 7. Contingencies these clauses outline what happens if something goes wrong and who is responsible for compensation. 8. Closing date and costs. This section specifies when the transaction will be finalized and who will pay for closing costs. 9. Default terms. Specify what happens if either party does not fulfill their obligations as stated in the contract. 10. Dispute resolution and governing laws. This outlines the procedure on how the parties can handle a dispute and what state laws will be used to interpret the contract. 8 Steps to Writing a Wholesale Contract Here is a list of 8 steps you can follow to draft your wholesale contract. 1. Review Commonly Used Clauses Review the commonly used clauses discussed earlier in this video or find a template online to use as a reference. This will allow you to know what to include. 2. Identify transaction information. Next, identify the key information you want to include in your agreement. This may include details about property, purchase price, and details about contingencies. 3. Use clear language. It is critical to use clear and concise language that all parties understand. 4. Organize content. Once you've written your clauses, organize them so that they are logical. For example, you likely want to have the details about the property come before your closing date section. 5. Include local laws. Be sure to incorporate any local laws that may be specific to your state, since laws regarding wholesaling and assignment of contract may vary from state to state. Note, this may require research. 6. Consider seeking legal advice. If you are unsure about anything, consider using Contracts Council's platform to seek advice from an experienced real estate lawyer. 7. Review and revise. Review and revise them to make the language clearer and confirm you have included everything needed. 8. Make accessible. Create a single document to serve as your contract or put your terms on your website. Crafting a solid wholesale contract is key to a successful wholesaling business. If you need help from an experienced lawyer, feel free to visit www.contractscouncil.com and post a job to get quotes from lawyers to help you. Thanks for watching.